welcome to ET Studios at the ET CIO Annual Conclave 2024. Today we're going to be talking about securing the digital future. And to discuss just that at the studios I have with me today, Rakshit Daga, CPTO Big Basket, and Ashwin Singhal, Senior Director of Product Management, App Security, Akamai. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Pleasure Thank you, to be here. Super. You know, let's get this started off. You're a digital first organization at Big Basket. Let's start with a hot topic of bots. Now, we all agree that there are both good bots and bad bots. But with bot traffic on the internet increasing in recent years, do you think credential abuse is a concern? Also, in a market like India, you need to account for scalability. And what are you most concerned with about protecting against? Sure. So, uh, starting, uh, starting with your question about credential abuse being a concern, I, I think it's absolutely a concern, right? And especially for consumer applications uh, like ours, um, it's, uh, it's not uh, really an authorization-based model, right? right? Uh, so, there could be bots that are just acting on behalf of customers or trying to uh, spoof customers and so on. So absolutely, it's a concern. So in terms of bot management, uh, you really have to focus on figuring out which ones are the good bots, which, which are the bots that are going to add value to business as opposed to the ones uh, that's just scraping information or causing denial of service and st those sort of things. All right, so how do you address this at Akamai? We know that Akamai works with organizations of varied scale and businesses and helps them protect against diverse cyber threats, especially in the app security space. From your vantage point, what are some of the top security challenges that organizations face? Absolutely, Shilpa. So Rakshit mentioned about uh, bots. We see that bots are evolving and continues to evolve. Now we see that bots are leveraging AI to uh, initiate attacks. And that's very difficult for any organization to really mitigate. And these bot attacks are leading to credential abuse, which is leading to further account takeover. And we see a lot of phishing happening, right, in the industry. We, we see phishing happening across various uh, users in the industry, like financial sector or e-commerce. So that's really concerning. So that is one area that our customers are really concerned about. The second area is the spread of ransomware because once it happens, very difficult to contain uh, the lateral movement. A and finally, I mean, API security, that's on top of mind for every executive. Well, absolutely. You know, the proliferation of APIs has undeniably transformed the digital landscape, enabling seamless data exchange and integration between disparate systems. APIs serve as a connective tissues of the modern digital ecosystem. However, with fast-paced product launches and development, many organizations struggle to keep pace with the APIs being developed and deployed in their architecture. Now, is API visibility and scalability and inventory management a challenge for you? Yes, it's a challenge, right? And uh, you have to approach it with the first principles. Uh, zero trust is a term that gets often used and bandied about, but what does it really mean, right? So I think I break it up into two parts, uh, authentication and authorization. And this needs to happen at hyperspeed, at hyperscale. So from that standpoint, especially if you're a consumer application trying to serve millions of requests a second, uh, figuring out who's coming in and what they are authorized to do and doing it fast is of uh, immense consequence. Well, absolutely. You know, we know that you are responsible for product management across application security domain. Is API security coming up a lot in your conversations with your customers? And what's Akamai's perspective on API security? That's a great question. And, and let me answer the second question first. So what we are seeing in last several years API traffic continues to rise on the internet on our platform as well. Today, 31% of all the attacks that we mitigate are API. And these attacks are increasing by 50% year over year, right? So next three years, four years, five years, it's going to be like really crazy. So like I said earlier, API security is on top of mind for each and every customer today because API are a very intrinsic part of the way our platform works today. So understanding the visibility of these APIs and discovering shadow APIs, ensuring that there is vulnerability management on the APIs, and finally, detecting abuse that's happening on these APIs. That's, that's really what the organizations are focused on. All right, you know, another important aspect of web traffic is observability, monitoring and tracking of your raw and security logs. And in the quick commerce world, your business goes through peaks and troughs on a daily basis. What is your definition of a robust observability solution? Sure. Uh, observability 
could have many meanings, right? The metaphor could be an engineering metaphor, right? What does it mean? Uh, what's the number of times APIs are called? What kind of request volumes you are getting? It could also mean things like uh, what's happening on your business on a day-to-day -day level. And you mentioned quick commerce, especially in the quick commerce world, the tolerance or the time frame for all operations has been compressed. It used to be that quick commerce or, or e-commerce grocery delivery used to happen in next days or in a few hours. But now when you're looking at 10 minutes, if you're responsible for actually having physical operations being completed in minutes and not uh, hours. So from that standpoint, uh, having a view on what's happening in the business, both from an engineering standpoint, infrastructure standpoint, as well as a business standpoint in near real time is uh, of uh, major consequence. Thank you for sharing that from your experience. Now, what is your take on observability when it comes to APIs? So, uh, as I mentioned earlier, APIs are growing on the internet. Now, that means customers need to have real-time visibility into what's happening, the threats, and have a single pane of glass where they can consume a lot of these sources and make decisions. Now, the challenge is all of this data is costly. If you have to consume that data into a storage, you have to pay a lot. So what we are doing from Akamai's uh, standpoint is trying to make sure that customer get this as a very reduced cost so that they can look at this data for a longer time period and they are able to access this data pretty much in real time. All right, and with that, it brings us to the end of our discussion. It's a wrap. Thank you so much for joining us at the studios and providing us with your insights. And thank you so much for watching. Remember, you can keep tracking conversations with our top leaders across industries only at ET Studios at the ETCIO Annual Conclave 2024.